after transplant, they, um, many patients want to quickly return to work and they have had such a loss of income for so many years that they're very eager to start their life up again. However, the recovery process is slow and a lot of times they're not feeling as good as they initially thought they would. We try to work with them to say everything in baby steps and we will work towards um, becoming uh, functional and uh, that you're able to meet the goals best for you. Virtually every, every uh, recipient uh, that I've talked to, uh, whether the organ went on to uh, be tremendously successful and, and, and functional, or whether it failed, uh, they are all tremendously grateful. And, uh, they all want to reach out to their donor families and the donor, and the donor of the donors alive to, to give that thanks. And, uh, and virtually all of them make some kind of an effort to support transplantation and organ donation and, and as they go through their lives. When I speak to groups and to people, and especially when I was doing peer counseling uh, for the MNIT, I would try to tell the patients that, you know, you're going to go through this procedure, but don't worry about it every day. Don't waste the time worrying. Enjoy your gift. Well, anxiety and depression is very common after transplant. The patients are very anxious because they're worried, what if I reject this organ? Post-transplant, the transplant team is very aware and is always uh, monitoring and exploring their emotions so that we can either refer them to a transplant psychiatrist or um, provide counseling for them. I never, never spent a day worrying about it. It kind of defeats the idea of getting this gift of life from somebody. To waste your time worrying about how long it will last or, you know, is, is non-productive to me. I mean, you, we have a gift. We should live every day.